Hi, this is a case of tractional uh, diabetic detachment that we operated using 23 gauge vitrectomy. This is actually the best uh, seeing eye of the patient, the other eye is in a terrible state and we're operating uh, later. So starting here with 23 gauge, this is after anti-VEGF and you have this organized uh, vitreous hemorrhage uh, with traction emanating from the disc. You can see the m traction is mainly on the arcade. And as we remove that hemorrhage, it will be more obvious. Now switching to the green 60D lens. And we have a good dissection plane here from the posterior pole. So we always like to go from in out, as shown in the diagram here, because you avoid the issue caused by vitreous crisis and you're in the plane. Now here we're just testing the water, see what's happening. This is a good dissection area over the hemorrhage. But we want to go back and uh, work over the disc and move from there. Uh, very soon. This is a case I operated with my fellow Dr. Uh, Riley Sanders. So here we're understanding more what's happening and the money shot is to come here because you need to lift a little bit to be able to access the membrane and it's a, you know, um, a judgment call and this is the lift happening. Now you're in business. You can see now where the retina and the membrane. And the 23 gauge cutter is fantastic for the uh, cutback delamination because it has a larger sphere of influence. So once the membrane are a little bit on the loose side, they flow better to the 23 gauge cutter. While the 27 gauge cutter is nicer to get under the membranes. So it's just good to understand really the difference between the two. And you can see here now we're in business. So we can lift up uh, and then cut. And you can see where the retina is. So you commit, lift up, then cut. And sometimes you have to be assertive and cut with the port cutting back, um, depending that the membranes are more mobile than the retina, especially if the retina is flat, of course. And the 23 gauge cutter here is working its way uh, very nicely. Now this membrane needs to be dissected from the other side or maybe dissected from the edge where it's not adherence. You want to come at the edge. This is a good point here where you can see the cutback delamination. And this is an important point to come here where you see the membranes are continuous with the vitreous. You see that? So you'll not be able to access the peripheral vitreous until you get under the membrane. It just shows the, the vitreous crisis effect and the fact that they are continuous with the, uh, the membranes are is continuous with the peripheral vitreous. Again, 23 gauge cutter is fantastic for cut back delamination when it's loose and then here more dissection continues and again once you open the membranes you can access the peripheral vitreous how much you pull is just a judgment call you have to be very careful when you're pulling on the retina in diabetic patients the membranes are so adherent and the retina is thin and fried Now more direct attack here by the cutter. We can access under the membranes. Again, remember, close spaces, 27 gauge is better. But when you're working and you want to do a cutback delamination where the membrane flows backward, actually 23 uh, is much better because then you have a larger sphere of influence and everything is going to fly to you, as you can uh, see here. Final steps of removing the vitreous, you need to pull to get the peripheral vitreous up. How much you pull, judgment call, always pull away from epicenters, and then come to the epicenters. And sometimes attached to one epicenter, and then when you cut it, then it relaxes and, uh, and it uh, detaches more. But always when you cut, just cut very near to the retina until it detaches. This is a good one here. You can see the hemorrhage and the hyaloid adherent in the periphery and the nice thing about the 23 cutter is because a larger sphere of influence is more effective to get that up compared to 25 or 27 gauge cutter. We finished this case by uh, doing laser. Uh, we did not do any ILM peel which we don't do routinely in diabetics and we left the eye air filled. Thank you.